Well, what's going on guys, Aussie here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have the 93 overall team of the season so far, moment card, Quason, and he looks pretty decent for especially 150k. 150k is the SBC and 93 overall going for 150k. Now I can understand why he's going for 150k because he is 3 star 3 star so he's always going to be one of those ones where he's going to be a bit too readable. But yeah, he has got 95 pace, 95 dribbling, 93 shooting, 87 passing, 89 physical and 95 dribbling which is always going to be nice. Now the medium, medium work rates aren't the greatest. But for me personally, it just means he's going to be coming short way too, way too often. Six foot, if he has high enough dribbling, six foot isn't going to matter. That's all, that's how I see it all the time. Now, the three star skill moves, as I said, it's going to make him very readable. I can't do the running scoot turns. I can't do the flip flaps. I can't do all these skill moves to get angles for a good shot. It's going to be very hard to get a good angle for the shot. He's probably going to be a person where rather you overtop the ball to and obviously he runs onto it or a person that you pass to him at the last minute, you turn and then quickly shoot now the freestyle weak foot is going to make him very readable in which way i am going to turn so with quason all you have to do is pretty much read the right foot i re i rarely rarely think he's going to shoot with the left and it will go in now he is on a hawk cam style he is on 10 cam 99 acceleration 99 sprint speed the fastest the fastest you can pretty much get so it's always going to be nice to see him outpace people like a parva boateng you know harmals van dyke he's going to do that pretty much easy 99 attacker positioning 99 finishing 99 shot power no traits but with those finishing stats i don't believe he's going to need it he has got 91 long shots 99 volleys and 85 penalties as well Passing wise, he actually looks pretty decent. 85 vision, 84 crossing, 92 short passing, and 84 long passing. You could potentially play him in a cam role if you really want to, especially him being three star weak foot. You got pass with that weaker foot. Four star minimum for shooting, three star minimum for passing. Remember that. Now, dribbling wise, he has got 90 agility, 91 balance, 91 reactions, 95 ball control, 97 dribbling, and 90 composure. Dribbling sets look actually pretty decent. He's going to be very calm and composed on the ball, take a very good touch, and hopefully he's going to do his little twists and turns. Now, he has got 96 stamina, which means lasting throughout the whole 90 minutes. Shouldn't be a problem. 99 strength. That is going to be causing a lot of centre-backs, a lot of problems, because he's pretty much going to be able to shield them off while waiting for a passing option. He has got 78 aggression. I don't believe it's going to be enough. I want him to fight for the ball. I want him to, you know, want the ball more than my opponent. But it's one of those ones where he's probably going to be losing a lot of 50-50s with that aggression. Now, because he is in, you know, he's in a good league, but he's not in the greatest club. And the nationality for the league is not great either. I have linked him up with his teammate. I believe it's Meta Metata. I, believe, I tried. I tried. Okay, that's all I said. I tried. I tried to pronounce it. It didn't go well. We move on. And Goretzka. I've also got likes of Witzel, Suzoko, and Adama in the team. I will be using Quayson today in a 4-4-2, playing him in a striker position. But that's the only position I will be, play will be playing him in today. So let's get into the games. So we're just going to test how good he feels on the ball quick. Feels pretty decent, to be fair. He's taking very nice touches, and he's turning all oh, little double ball roll straight past the players. That's always nice. So over the top, all the way down to the bottom. That is a beautiful pass. Adama, first time to Quayson. Quayson, I'm going to turn it back. Why not at the end of the day? Now, if he did have the outside foot shot trait there, it would have been like a guaranteed goal. But I had a, like a like a mini heart attack, if you want to talk about it. Like, just to think where the keeper was about to save it and it was going to be one of those ones where he was going to miss it. But he does do really well here. Just absolutely blast it into the back of the net. Goretzka to Quayson. Quayson with a little turn. Fake shot. Sending it to the other way. Can I get a shot? Oh, okay. He does hit post there. That is super unfortunate, to be fair. Because he did so, so well to, like, create the angle. And I absolutely sent my opponent. And the fact that he didn't finish that, it was, it was like, a bit disappointing. But at the same time, it was an unbelievable shot. Quayson. Little fake shot once again. Ball roll to the inside. Oh, we just couldn't get the shot off there. Super unfortunate, but you can kind of see what I'm having to do while doing the, you know, the fake shots to get the angles because of those three-star skill moves. I can't do like the burr bar, the flip flap, the running scoop turn. So it's kind of hard, but at the same time, I'm starting to get used to his dribbling. So it's starting to feel a bit nicer on the edge of the box. Crazy on the ball. I'm going to do a running fake shot here. Ball roll, trying to create an angle for the finesse shot. Oh my God, he missed the whole target. Now, one thing I can say is he was off balance, so I kind of understand why. And probably I did overcomplicate it, and I should have just took it a bit more simple. Probably should have shot on his weaker foot, to be fair, the three-star weak foot. But I didn't really feel confident with it, and that is probably why I missed that opportunity. Because if he had like a four-star at least, or even a five-star, 
I would have shot into the left foot. I would have believed in it, but because I don't believe in it, I had to do that ball roll to create the angle for the right third shot. Oh, that's beautiful. Can I get a shot? Oh my God, he's hit post once again. But this time it was at a very, very tight angle. So I do understand why he's hit post. But he did so well there to create the angle. And I love the acceleration that he gets. Can someone just kick the ball off the... Okay, thank you. I love the acceleration that he gets literally straight after doing the skill move. I couldn't... Like, we can't even kick a ball out of the out of the pitch, apparently. Yeah, what's happening? Nice, great pressure. One thing I do love is pressing with him. Oh, my God. I tried to do a facial around the corner and somehow he did the slide tackle. But, yeah, I, one thing I love about him is pressing with him because he's got that 99 acceleration and 99 sprint speed. He gets to the player instantly and really puts him under pressure. Lost the Creighton. Oh, my God. Him, He's fighting for it, at least. Drag back. Oh, okay, okay, okay. He's absolutely sent the opponent, I tell you what. That was a really, really good turn. And an unexpected turn. I didn't actually believe the drag back was going to work. But I gave it a go because it's literally the last minute of the first half. So I said, why not? Let's give it a go. And he does actually turn the guy. And what a finish it is towards the near post. Real pass to Quayton. I'm going to act like I'm going to do the one more. Then I go for the near post shot. But with the freestyle weak foot coming into play, that is super, super unfortunate because that's a good shot. That's a good angle. That's a good finesse shot as well. But somehow the weak foot coming into play, I can, I probably, probably bet on that goal, go, that shot, sorry, going into the back of net if it's on his right foot. But because it has got that freestyle weak uh, anyway, move on. Because it has got that freestyle weak foot, you know, it's always going to be a bit disappointing. Nice, that's a great one. Use that pace. Gonna finesse round him. Should be a goal. Oh my god, he's hit post once again. That's the third time he's hit post now. Especially, I would say one of the posts was a bad angle. But he managed to hit post with it, which was quite impressive. But two of the posts was great angles. They were, I wouldn't say they were clear cut. But they were good, you know, they were good chances. And somehow he's hit post. Great turn. I'm going to turn onto the left foot because he's going to not predict it. Great dribbling inside the ball. What a touch as well. And he's actually passed it to his teammate in real life. And somehow, his teammate has actually scored. Uh, you know, it's better finishing than Quayson apparently because Quayson probably would have hit post there. But, we, you know, we say nothing. We say nothing. Anyway, it was, it was a great dribble from him and it was a great pass. That's a good run. He is in behind the player as well. I'm going to fake shot this. Bring it to the inside. Ball roll. Oh, somehow he still got it. I'm just going to give the ball away. That was really good dribbling. And I did kind of screw up the opportunity. But he kept the ball really well. Come on, Quayson. You got the pace. There you go. Touch it. Not the greatest touch, but he does have the acceleration to get past him. Ball roll. Pass it to the edge. One more to the edge. I'm going to hit it first time because why not at the end of the day? And it is a beautiful goal. Really using Quayson's pace to his full potential there. Just down the wing. Doing the little fake shots. Doing the little ball rolls to get the angle. To pass to, pass to I believe, it's Goretzka. And what a finish. Nice. That's a really good turn. Fake shot. I think I'm going to cut back. Do the ball roll. Just go down the line, waiting for the perfect pass. And I do get it with Adama Traore in the perfect spot. You see how calm and composed I was, but you see how Grayson kept the ball very, very close to his feet. That's exactly what I want down that line. Keeping it very close to his feet so I can do the little double way across the goal to Adama Traore. And it is a beautiful finish. So it is time to review him. Two, three games played, two goals, two assists. The guy hit the post so often. It was ridiculous as well. But there's one thing I can say that I love how good he keeps the balls to his feet. Like it pretty much sticks to his feet and it does this little close quarter dribbling and it allows him to pretty much go through these tight angles. But I can really tell one thing. If you play a good person, like a good player, Elite 2 and Plus, Elite 3 and Plus, it will become very, very readable. And it will be very, very easy to defend. For example, if you play me, I'm just going to read Quayson's right foot. I know you're going to shoot with it. There's a 0% chance you shoot with his left foot because the left foot is absolutely terrible. And you're pretty much, he's pretty much going to become useless. So he's six foot, not an issue at all because how high his dribbling was, he didn't actually felt, he felt like six foot. Uh, medium, medium work rates. It was good, but it wasn't insane. I did notice that he wasn't coming as short as often as I would like him to. But there was also that situation where he wouldn't be making as many runs as I would like him to either. The freestyle skill moves, as I said, makes him very readable. I can't do like the running scoop turn, the flip flap, the McGeady. I can't do any of that. The freestyle weak foot as well makes me just shoot with one foot. Because if I cut into the left foot, there's probably like a 20% chance the ball goes into the back end net. 
Now, pace-wise, he is insanely fast. He was outpacing all the centre-backs I did play. And that was, like, really, really impressive by him. Shooting-wise, he did hit the post a lot. And there was, like, two good chances. I wouldn't say they were clear-cut, but there was two good chances that he did, had. And he hit the post. And there was another chance where it was, it was a tight angle. And he hit the post of that. But the tight angle, I can, uh, that's acceptable. That's fine. Because it's a tight angle, right? But when it's a good opportunity to score and he hits post of it, that's when you kind of have to start thinking because you're not going to get a lot of those occasions. He's going to be start become very readable because he, the, my opponent saw that I kept cutting onto the right foot and I'm not going to cut onto the left foot because, it's at, you know, the freestyle weak foot, it's the ball's not going to go in, let's all be fair. Passing-wise, he can be a cam if you want him to. He's really, really good passing. Dribbling, as I said, he doesn't feel six foot at all. Keeps the ball very close to his feet and keeps it very composed. Stamina, he did last throughout the whole 90 minutes. Strength, he was actually really, really strong and he shielded off a lot of defenders and that was always a nice sight to see because when i'm shielding them off i can obviously buy time for like a, wait for a, pretty much for a passing lane if you know what i mean aggression wise 78 aggression i feel like he was more into the like the 84 85 zone where he was fighting put for the ball but it wasn't into the extent where he was absolutely you know being aggressive towards every single person now we do have to give him a rating out of 10 i'm gonna give him a 7.5 out of 10 I don't believe he deserves any higher than that because of the freestyle freestyle. But he is a really good player and it'd be just disappointing he pretty much hit post consistently. But if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like, leave a comment and for now, peace.